The January 1st legalization date is quickly approaching. Now those who grow marijuana already are preparing to make their last shipments before doors officially open at dispensaries. Our Capitol reporter Cole Henke got to see firsthand how these centers operate. So Cole, what did you see and learn today? I learned that centers like the one I visited today have changed a lot since the bill to legalize marijuana was passed last spring. Marijuana cultivation centers have been increasing production to meet that impending demand that will come on January 1st. The marijuana farm in Barrie, Illinois, about an hour west of Springfield, is the same size as when it opened in 2015, but its inventory increased dramatically after Ascend, Illinois bought it in January. Almost two-thirds of the building now holds marijuana plants. In our entire production line is seed, so we're planting thousands of the same strain, and you know, so that that brings some challenges in that you know not all of them are stable, so we have to you know keep a close eye on them. Every room in the 75,000 square foot facility is kept under lock and key. You have to wear hair nets, lab coats, and shoe covers, all in the interest of protecting the marijuana plants that sit behind these doors. The whole compliance piece is absolutely critical, especially you know, this, is a, this is a new business in a new industry right now. Cultivation centers are making massive investments to meet the coming demand, but even they aren't sure what to expect come the new year. That's a that's that's the hundred thousand dollar question, right? I that that's almost impossible for us to predict. Uh, but what we're doing is we're gearing up for a high density grow uh, to support bo support both the uh, medical and recreational market. The entire process, from growing to packaging to branding, happens under this roof. They even have a kitchen to make edibles, and the time for experimenting never ends. There's there's a lot of derivatives that can be done, and just like you know, in any food product, there's constant new uh, new technology, new ideas, trying new things, trying new recipes. Reporting in Barry, I'm Cole Hankey. Ascend Illinois is one of the 20 license holders for cultivation in the state, and they've had that facility since January. And since then, they've hired almost 100 new employees to help them get ready for that January 1st deadline. Paul? Uh, thank you, Cole, so much. Now, the Ascend Illinois facility distributes anywhere from 80 to 100 pounds of marijuana a week in the 75,000 square foot facility, but they could still almost triple in size if needed. State law lets cultivation centers be as large as 210,000 square feet per 